All right, today I want to go over the cheapest home that sold in July of 2023 in our area. And there's a couple of interesting things with this property, but let me share it with you. So you can see that there was a total of 32 homes sold in July, summer months. And we can see that the cheapest home was asking 249,999. And they received 365,000. So over a hundred thousand dollars more than what they originally were asking. And let's see the location. So the location is going to be uh, University Park. Here we can see there's a property. So now let's look at it. So what could, you know, how can you get a $365,000 home in our area? And let's look at exactly this home. There's only two pictures that we can share. So that shares with me enough information to know that it's um, probably a teardown. So what you're doing is you're buying the land, trying to clean everything up, and we can see here. So, the, you know, there's going to be certain bones that you can reuse, but we can look at it. So this was a three bedroom, two bath, short sale home. So they were over what they what they owed uh, with 1,800 square feet and a lot. Let's see where the lot is. Sometimes they show it right up there, but this time they didn't. Uh, 7,400, 7,500 square feet. Uh, which is pretty typical for our area. Uh, no association. We can see short sale properly. Property needs to be completely remodeled. That means everything. If they're not putting in, in any more information, you know that's, that's what's happening. So it had to be a cash only deal. Well, when it comes to these homes that aren't habitable, people can't live in, you do need to have the cash on hand in order to, to, pur uh, to purchase it. Uh, this tax amount is obviously low. It probably the old owners lived there forever and abandoned it, or who knows. Uh, here you can see that the price, so it took seven days. So it took a week for, these prop, for this property to sell. So if you have the cash on hand, you're okay with putting extra capital because it isn't just 365 you need to pay. You need to buy 365 plus $200,000 or remodels uh, if, if, if it's that, because the price has gone up. And we can look at the price per square foot on this cheap cash only rundown home is $201 a square foot. So that way you can see if you, if what you want is a rundown home in Westchester, you need to act fast, have the cash and get ready to have extra capital to do these remodels. So that's it. Hopefully this helps. You can um, look at this yourself. And if there's any other information that you feel will help you, let me know. I'm happy to make these videos and help the Westchester community out.